my name is Akash Deep, and uh, I am a data scientist on the conversational AI team uh, at SAP, uh, based in Palo Alto, California. And today, I, I think it's a great segue from the previous uh, panel here that I'm going to talk about how you want to really transform conventional um, enterprise uh, uh, processes and artifacts into more live experiences, right? Uh, like you previously saw in the panel here, we spoke about how sometimes it can be really difficult to uh, navigate through processes and policies, right? For example, if there's a complex workflow, uh, at some times, you, I think getting rid, rid of a process is the easy way out. But uh, there can be situations where it is imperative and you just can't get rid of, a, of a, a policy guideline that's in place for a specific reason, right? And it can, uh, we understand that it can be extremely, extremely difficult, painstaking uh, to navigate uh, through a certain things, but that's where we build uh, a smart uh, solution to uh, uh, fix and bridge the gap with conversational AI. What are we talking about here? Let, let, let me tell you a, a real quick uh, a story here about why uh, this, is a, this is a super important uh, aspect when it comes to uh, fixing problems uh, in the enterprise realm. The first piece that really uh, contributes to uh, the main challenge with enterprise applications is people, right? The thing about people is that people know things. Uh, the things we know uh, are shared in both structured and unstructured manners, and the way we say things uh, in an enterprise world might be completely different when compared to a more, uh, say, a user-based uh, context, right, for example, which is where it becomes really important for us to understand the deeper context of the domain itself, and uh, obviously there are computational linguists uh, in place to understand uh, how uh, people talk. The second piece that I'm talking about here is uh, globalization and localization at the same time. Some processes uh, can be really, really uh, hard to work with, uh, especially because uh, there are guidelines in place that have to really, really uh, be enforced globally. But at the same time, you also want to allow for some flexibility when it comes to designing workflows and uh, uh, conversations around uh, 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 processes that are also uh, local in nature. The third thing here is, uh, let's take a step back and talk about honeybees here, right? Honeybees have six legs. They have uh, two compound eyes, which have about thousands of lenses. They have two normal eyes, and they also have uh, a honey pouch and a stomach, right? Now, what, what really resembles a honeybee here is uh, an actual system, an application in an enterprise world. Yeah? The enterprise uh, applications are extremely convoluted, uh, complex and uh, really, really uh, uh, built with, with different uh, pieces in mind, right? And when you think of a beehive, that is basically a collection or an ecosystem of applications that really have to talk to each other seamlessly. And that's where the real challenge uh, of, of enterprise bots come, comes in, right? Because you have to really uh, deal with uh, how people say things differently in, a, in an enterprise world. You also have to make sure that you really comply with, uh, uh, with policies and processes that are in place uh, locally and globally. And the third thing is that uh, you need to have a really, really seamless integration with, with different systems, right? But now the real magic is when you actually bridge uh, all these three uh, pieces together and uh, stitch them uh, to really build uh, out um, a, a conversational flow, right? Taking a step forward here, uh, how many of you know SAP? Can we have a quick show of hands here? Oh, lovely. We are in Germany. Uh, SAP is a German company. It's a really, really huge uh, 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 name in the enterprise world, right? And we really believe that uh, we, we have a diverse uh, suite of products. At the same time, it gives us a really, really uh, solid opportunity uh, in terms of understanding uh, and uh, helping our customers really drive best value from our products. For example, some of the uh, products that we have here are for ERP and digital core. We have procurement and networks. We, uh, we also have uh, products uh, that allow travel and expense in enterprise. Hybris, which is for customer engagement. Human resources, obviously, is a big chunk uh, in enterprise. 
and uh, cloud and data networks. The reason why we talk about these different uh, uh, products here in the enterprise world is again, going back to the Beehive example, right? There can be multiple applications uh, in, in the enterprise realm and you really have to ensure that uh, there is a uh, really good integration uh, with regards to uh, defining conversation flows uh, within these uh, domains. Also, I want to take a step back and talk about uh, the previous panel here, right? Uh, we spoke about how it is so difficult for a startup to reach out to a big enterprise uh, client because their, their procurement uh, uh, policies are so difficult to work with. Uh, that's where we believe that uh, when you have a complex process, you can really simplify it uh, with uh, uh, a smart uh, conversational uh, driven uh, interface. And I I'm telling you, I didn't pay the panel to say those things and give that example, but uh, I'm going to quickly show you here how we, uh, for example, can deal with uh, a complex uh, uh, workflow in a procurement domain. Awesome. So let's see what the bot can do for me. I will probably ask for help. Uh, you know that it can uh, do multiple things. Let's say I want to get information on a previous uh, purchase order that I placed with the company, right? So I can get information uh, on it. And the good thing here is that it, it understands what you're trying to say in the context of the procurement domain. And at the same time, disambiguates the information and knows that there are multiple purchase orders that are linked to uh, your name. You can get information on any specific purchase order. Yeah, it's good that it's approved. Now let's see what else we can do here, something more complex, right? Let's see if you can buy new servers for our machine learning projects, right, for example. Uh, that also is a procurement uh, process. And let's see if uh, computers are expensive, right? So you know that you might be spending a lot of money. The thing here is that it really smartly understands that uh, you would like to spend uh, a, a, a money in a certain segment and it might be tied to different policies here. For example, you might want to get competitive course or you want to work with specific uh, suppliers, right? And the thing here is that it's a super, super guided flow in terms of uh, the, the process itself and it knows that it summarizes it for you. Okay, this, this is uh, the contact that you have, this is the, these are the forms that you have to fill in. So what's happening here is that really it simplifies the whole flow for you rather than you figuring out what to do first. You really understand uh, and uh, you, you comply with the policies at the same time and also you don't really have to give up on uh, how you, you do certain things, right? And that's exactly why uh, we believe that conversational AI is a superpower in, in terms of really uh, uh, delivering these uh, live experiences, if you may call it, because that's what we believe that uh, these conversations are the core value uh, when it comes to really, really creating uh, great experiences for uh, our products. Uh, at the same time, it becomes a really different ball game altogether because you want to make sure that you optimize for time, you want to create great experiences, but also the good thing is here uh, that you don't really have to give up or uh, compromise uh, on, on how you uh, shape or deliver things there. So uh, that's, that's, that's something here that uh, I believe that uh, SAP is super excited to be in this space because first we really think that uh, right now with our um, uh, footing in the enterprise realm, we understand uh, how things work uh, differently uh, in the enterprise world and that really positions us to build our own uh, conversational AI uh, platform. So yeah, thank you so much for your time today. I hope you really enjoyed uh, the talk.